wine service tutorial. Now, before you can open a bottle of wine, it's a good idea to have an opener. Now, there are several styles out there. Pictured here is the pull tab, my trusty Coutal, and the Asso, and another style. The important parts, though, are the dual hinge, and it's also good to have a Teflon-coated worm. Uh, there's other good ones out there, the Rialto and the Murano. Uh, the Rialto is solid, strong, has a grippy rubber around, actually both of these do, and they're great for getting practice. They're a great first opener. Once you get a little practice, you may want to get a, a little smaller one, one that's possibly a little bit more elegant, fits in your pocket a little better, that sort of thing. Okay, the important thing to remember, notice the length of the worm compared to corks. Yes, some corks a little bit longer, but when you put the worm into the cork, what you want to do is hit, put the point right in the middle of the cork. Don't try to line the shaft up with the middle. Just put that point right in the middle. And you only want to go until there's still a turn showing, because if you go all the way like this, the worm pops out the bottom you can get a little bit of goo on there and nobody wants to drink that it, it tastes like crap so again looking you want to leave one turn left on those okay now when you're presenting the bottle this is your serviette it's good to have these the folds should be towards your elbow with a clean seam facing the customer and also the little threaded um, hem should uh, not be showing. So you present the bottle, label up to whoever ordered it. You can always ask who ordered it. And then when it comes time to open it, you grab your opener that you forgot on the table. And actually, if you have one of the pull tab openers, you can kind of clip it right to your pocket, and it's super easy just to pull out quick and be ready to go. But I like my Kutal. So you present the bottle, get a firm grip on the top. What you want to do is keep the bottle vertically straight up as much as possible. Take your opener out, open the knife, and then you want to do two cuts. So make these as long as you can, and you're underneath the... Um, second little line on the bottle. Once you do two cuts, you can kind of slice and pull and the top should come off. That goes into your pocket. And then again, you push the point directly into the middle of the cork. And it doesn't have to be straight up now. Just target it and then as you start to turn, you can straighten it up. Now I did lean the bottle over a little bit because I was showing you. So you take it in, Again, not all the way in. The first little hinge, first little boot goes on. You want to pull so that the cork comes straight out, doesn't lean side to side. You'll have less chance of breaking it. You can see the cork moving straight until the very end, of course. Then wipe the top of the bottle with your serviette. Remove the cork present the cork. One little trick you can do is give the cork a little pinch and that'll keep it from rolling off the table. So you give it a little pinch and set it down there. Corkscrew goes back in your pocket. If you see any goo on the top of the bottle while you're looking at it there, go ahead and give it a wipe. And then you're ready to pour, by facing the label to the person, pour uh, a sample, which is only like about an ounce. Now, when you pour the sample, pour with a little bit of confidence because if you're tentative and when you stop, the wine will drip all the way down the bottle, hit the table, hit everything. So pour a little twist, hit it with the serviette, and there you go. Okay, when we are using a screw cap or Stelvin enclosure, we can still provide bottle service. What you do is you grab underneath the screw cap and twist it and you feel it start to break open. You feel it click, click, click. Then you put the cap against the inside of your arm 
and roll that cap to loosen it until you can take it off in your hand. Now practice that until you can do it smoothly. Proceed as normal, pour your samples. Um, if your sleeves are rolled up, it's a little bit easier because you get a little bit more grip from skin on the cap than your shirt. And you don't have to worry about overdoing it or you know, going too far because that cap is not gonna come off until you lift it off, provided you do it smoothly. Okay, opening a bottle of sparkling wine can be very dangerous. You always want to make sure that you have the bottle leaned over at about a 45 degree angle. That increases the bubble in there, which is greater service area for the bottle to relieve its pressure. If it's held upright, it's a very small area for the pressure to get out and it explodes. Um, proper sommelier service is two serviettes, but we don't, we're not going to do that, so the heck with that. But treat it like a normal bottle. What you're going to do is still use your knife to cut, not using the little tab. I don't want people messing around with the little tabs. So go ahead and hold it normally, firmly. Grab your knife and try to make two cuts. Again, one around the front. And then one around the back. And then you should be able to lift it off fairly easily. You can sometimes make a slice up the side in the foil so that you don't have to mess with it quite as much as I'm doing here. But eventually you will get it and you'll be able to lift that whole foil off. Like so. There we go. And the foil goes into your pocket. Corkscrew can go in your pocket too. And then there's the little tab on the side. Now before you start to loosen it, what you're going to do is get your thumb on top for safety's sake. There's six turns. Make sure your thumb's there so it doesn't shoot off and hit you in the face. Six turns, loosen the cage, and then put the serviette over the top to open it. That'll give you better grip. As you twist the bottle, you don't twist the cork. Now I'm going to take the serviette off so you can actually see the process underneath. So you hold it tightly, you spin the bottle, and the cork will start to move out. A little bit more, you'll feel it start to go. There it goes. A little bit more. And then at the end, you pull the cork. You kind of lean it over, and it'll come out very easily. See that lean there? Just like a pull it over and it'll make a little noise and you're good to go. Then serviette goes back on your arm. Cage removed from the cork, present the cork. Cage goes back into your pocket and then you proceed as normal. Uh, pouring an ounce, clean the bottle, label towards the person who ordered it and pour just a little ounce for them to taste little wipe and you're good to go. Okay, practice when you're pouring a glass as you go around the table and fill the glass. Practice pouring a slow steady stream so that you can fill the glass slowly in one pour. All the way to the top or at least fairly to the top. Once you get that first little burst of mousse to settle down you'll have no problem finishing the rest.